Only this coffee is so good. Your cafe is the best in this town. Not in town, but in the entire Seoul. You chuckle as these students were praising you non-stop. Oftentimes they visit your cafe and now it has become quite popular among school and college students. You have expanded it and designed the interior in such a cozy and warm style that also helped in attracting more people. Now your life is pretty normal or you could say you are living your best. It's been 6 months since you have met your parents and of course they are not even interested to know where you are and what you are doing. A black car stopped in front of your cafe and you smiled already knowing the owner. He came out and walked inside. As soon as those girl students saw him, they started drooling over him and fangirling. Ignoring everything, he straight went to you as you smiled. Good morning, Miss Gorgeous. He said playfully making you laugh a little. You pick your phone and showed him the screen. It's afternoon, Mr. Gangster. He chuckled. Doesn't matter. You nodded. Why would it matter to you? By the way, would you like to have a coffee? I prefer my banana milk. You chuckled. Sure, I'll get it ready. He started making the milk while he was standing there admiring you while smiling softly. So, what's the occasion? He looked at you confused. Occasion? You nodded. Yes, how do you get time for me from your busy schedule? Saying as if I don't come every day. I mean you come at the end of the day to pick me up and then drop me to my house. So that's why I was asking. Seems like you're free today. There was a silence for some time as he didn't say anything. No one's gonna do anything to me. I don't need them. I know but still, please, just so that I can be a little tension free. He sighed and nodded. I will, but only if they do their work from far. I don't want to see them everywhere that I go. Tell them to be secretive. He smiled. Don't worry, they won't bother you in any way. I'm gonna miss you. You didn't able to control your feelings. I'll try to come back early. It's okay. Don't rush because of this and please, please take care of you because I know what kind of work you have. I will and after that, let's live together. Your heart skip a beat. Jungkook has said it so many times but it's just you who asks for some time before your relationship build up more strong. Enough that you can blindly agree to spend your life with him and now you are all ready.
Are you planning to not tell her that her parents sold her to you? Jungkook lifted up his face to look at him. So that she can get more upset thinking about all that again. They never gave her anything good to happy about anyways. That's why I want to vanish all the pain from her life. And then why don't you bring her here? You guys are already good together, so ask her to move in with you. You know her life can be risky as she is with you now. I don't want to force her into anything. I can only ask her. I leave the decision in her hands. Four days feel like four months and you were already missing him badly. It's not like you can't stay away from him but seeing him once a day is enough to lighten your heart. You can't even call him at times when he goes out for missions and now you have realized that he has become a part of you. You need to see him, hear his voice to feel relaxed, to feel loved and being cared which you have never felt before you met Junko. Your eyes fell outside the glass door. Around this time, you usually come to your cafe and after spending some time together, he drop you to your house every single day making sure you're fine. He's also like a personal bodyguard who ensures your protection all the time whether he's with you or not. And now there are bodyguards that he has assigned for your safety. As promised, they never bother you nor you feel awkward because they make sure your protection from a distance. He has strictly told them not to bother any customer or come inside the cafe to create disturbance. He snapped back in reality when a customer came inside the cafe. He knows you sir, what would you like to order? His appearance caught you a little off guard but you ignored it. He mannerlessly sat on the chair and put his legs on the table. Other customers also felt a little disturbed as he was playing loud music. A girl student who was studying there didn't able to control herself so she came to him. Raju she lower down the volume you are disturbing others. He looked at her with his scary eyes but ignored. She came near him and took his phone before turning off the music. Now it's fine. She was about to leave but that man pulled her by her shirt before grabbing her throat. All the customers looked at him terrified. Why are you so annoying? She was hitting his hand trying to free her neck from his grip. Most of the customers were students so they got scared to see the terrible scene in front of them. You came out after preparing the order but your eyes widened when you saw the scene in front of you. You quickly ran to the place where the man and the girl was. Mister, what are you doing? He was not ready to leave the girl while she was getting out of breath. You tried to release her from his grip. Are you crazy? Leave her. He looked at you angrily and pushed you, making you fall on the floor. You got up and slapped him, making him trigger. He looked at you as if going to end you in a minute. Get lost from here before I call the police. He scoffed and looked at you. What a dumb. He suddenly grabbed your hair and pulled them back making you groan in pain. How dare you to slap me huh? Other students were terrified. One quickly dialed the emergency number and told everything to police but that man caught him. He left your hair and walked towards that student but you kicked him from back. He lost his temper completely and took out a knife. He intended to stab you but fortunately only your arm got injured before those bodyguards came inside. You covered the deep cut as it started to bleed terribly. Those bodyguards beat him but that man managed to run. Man, are you okay? One went to catch that man while the other one took you to the hospital as the cut was deeper than you thought and you were losing a lot of blood. That man was running for his life as the death itself was chasing. Him. He never thought there would be something more terrible than the guy he encountered a while ago. 
He was breathing heavily but his speech doesn't stop otherwise it's going to be the last night of his life. I'm completely fine now. Why are you making it up into a big deal? He looked at you. Big deal? Do you think it's not a big deal? He's often seeing that fear and worry in his eyes. Okay, sorry. But seriously, Jungkook, I'm okay now. Don't worry too much. You always repeat the same dialogue after making me worry. He hugged you. But how did you come back so early? What happened to your work? Nothing is more important to me than you. There was silence for some time. I really wish that police could catch that jerk, but he's nowhere to be found. Don't worry, he's at his right place. This left you puzzled. Broke the hug and looked at him. Wait, don't tell me that you did something. He took a string of your hair behind your ear. I'll cook something for you. He left from there while you followed. Tell me the truth, Chonko. You are getting faster than the speed of light, huh? Do you know that the police has already found his corpse? It's broadcasting live. He stopped when he saw you coming behind Jungle. Who's corps? That man? He said already hearing everything. Jimin smiled nervously and nodded. You looked at Jungle who was glaring Jimin. It means you and now it's your turn Jimin she. He said running after him while Jimin tried to save himself. I didn't know she is also here. Sorry, you always try to become smart. Let me show you today. They both were running around the room. Why and tell him to stop? He said coming behind you trying to hide. Don't bring her in the middle. They always try to be over smart in front of her. Spilling every single thing that I try to hide. Jimmy she, you are gone. Stop it both of you. They both stopped and looked at you. Stop behaving like 5 years old. Jimin walked near you. It's him. Stay away from my girl. He gave him a disgusting look. How do you manage to live with two personalities together, huh? By the way, Vyan, did you move in with him? You looked at Jungkook as he came closer to you. Yes, and from now on, you better don't come here whenever you want. You can't talk to him like that, Jungkook. At least learn some manners from Yin. You can take your leave. Jungkook, let him do dinner with us. I didn't cook extra. It's okay, I'll eat yours and you can order from outside. You laughed. Standing at the aisle, you and Jungkook both looked in each other's eyes. The moment was full of emotions, happiness, excitement, a little nervous and emotional. You guys are finally getting married. Broken by the past and living away from love, never experienced a family's love, there was so much common between you two that brought you more closer and now you both are sure that you are now ready to spend your life with each other.
You flinched a little and came out of your thoughts when the priest started to read verses. 